A disastrous poll has prompted deep soul-searching by the state government, which has fallen behind Labor for the first time. The news poll shows the LNP has plummeted eight points in three months and 18 points since the 2012 election. Here's state political reporter Chris O'Brien. It's an extraordinarily bad poll for a government that just over two years ago won 78 seats. The LNP trails Labor 49% to 51 after preferences. It is, for our government, uh, sobering. With Campbell Newman on leave, the Deputy Premier defended the government's changes to the CMC, gang laws and political donations. But he makes this significant concession. It is arguable that our change agenda was too much too quick. By which he means the public hasn't caught on to all the government's achievements. We now have to make that case uh, before the people of Queensland consider re-electing us or electing the Labor government that created the mess in the first place. The LNP has also fallen behind in primary support. Confusing the picture is a huge leap in backing for unspecified others. The next election will not be a, necessarily a two-party contest. We could see, as at the last election, contests with third parties in different parts of the state. So if there's no clear winner in next year's election, would Labor consider a coalition with the Palmer United Party? No. There's going to be a clear choice at the next state election between Labor and the LNP. People deserve a better choice than what they've had in past elections. We'll weigh up the situation after the next election. Mr Newman's lead as better Premier has also narrowed and his net satisfaction score is well into the negative, leading to inevitable questions about leadership. So I will support Campbell Newman for ever and a day. Jeff Seeney has a thick skin, so for him to be worried about this poll is telling. It's also significant that he hasn't taken a swipe at Tony Fitzgerald, who's continually criticising the LNP. Instead, Mr Seeney wants to sit down with the former corruption inquiry head. To talk about the concerns that he might have, but also to have an opportunity to explain to him what I believe our government has done. A conciliatory tone in difficult times. Chris O'Brien, ABC News, Brisbane.